Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you how to populate the options of your dropdowns, multiple choice questions, or checkboxes in your Google form using Google Sheets. We'll start by creating a blank form to collect data from volunteers signing up for a global conference event. These volunteers can be from different states and will speak on different topics around different tech. Let's go ahead and create a new blank form by typing in forms.new. We'll add a bunch of questions such as name and set its question type to short answer, state and set its question type to drop down, topic and set its question type to drop down. Leave options empty for now. Now there can be too many states in our country and it will be challenging to enter them manually in this Google form. Also, drop down for topics seem to have a dynamic nature, needing updates whenever a new topic comes. Let's see how to address these issues and how we can update the options using Google Sheets, and more importantly, how we can dynamically update our form. Once you have completed the form, copy the form URL. We will paste this in the spreadsheet that will populate this form. Open the spreadsheet by clicking on the links provided in the description below. Make a copy of the spreadsheet by clicking on File menu, and then choosing Make a copy. Then go to the Settings tab and paste the copied form URL. Do not change the name of the Settings tab as it is linked to the attached script. Now go to the Data tab. On the top row, type in all the questions whose options you want to populate and then write all the options below. Let me write down all the options. A quick bonus tip. You can use the countries and states spreadsheet that I showed in one of my previous videos to get the states of any country. It fetches countries and states using API so that you won't have to type it manually. You will have to copy script from that spreadsheet into this one. I have provided the link in the description below. Back to the spreadsheet. Click Update Google Form. For the first time, it will ask for authorizing the code. Go ahead and give all the necessary permissions and then click again if required. Now you can see on the right that it has updated all the options. Let's add a few more options and also add one extra question in the form. Let's name it Lunch Menu. Now add the same along with menu items in the spreadsheet also. Then click on Update Google Form. Yeah, that worked perfectly. Now let's do the code walkthrough. Open the script editor by clicking on extensions and then app script. This will open the script editor in the browser itself. The populate Google Forms function begins by obtaining the active spreadsheet using spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. Next, it fetches the Google Form URL from the settings sheet, specifically from cell B1. The code then retrieves the headers and data from the active sheet. It structures the data in a way where the first element represents headers, and the rest are the corresponding data rows. A Choices object is created to store options for each question in the Google form. It iterates through the headers and associates each with its respective data, filtering out any empty values. The script proceeds to open the Google form using the provided URL with form app dot open by URL. It then iterates over the form items mapping each item to an object that includes the item itself and its associated choices from the choices object. Items without choices are filtered out, and for each remaining item, the script updates the choices based on the item type. This involves setting the choice values for checkboxes, lists, and multiple choice items. The toast method is used to display a notification in the spreadsheet, indicating that the Google form has been successfully updated. In summary, the script extracts data from the spreadsheet, matches it to the corresponding questions in the Google form, and updates the choices for checkboxes, lists, and multiple choice items, providing a streamlined way to manage form options dynamically. You will find the link to both the form and the spreadsheet in the description below. I have also updated the code to use the Countries and States API. If you have any query, then please ask them in the comments below. If you liked the video, then please hit the like button. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.